Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Preda's World here. Uh, so we're going to do uh, a, an unboxing, put them together, and then just a quick review on uh, the Prime One Studio Nightfall Batman, right after this. All right. So yeah, like I said, we're going to do Nightfall Batman. We're going to put them together here. Uh, I've still got them in the styrofoam. I'm going to pull them out um, and put them all together, uh, and then we'll go over them some. Uh, so this is just the base right now that I just pulled out. Um, I haven't put anything else on it, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. And I do use instructions because I don't want to screw that up. like a gargoyle kind of. Uh, it's got a peg and it's got a key in there. Okay. And then, of course, the first piece. Like a key here, too. I want to make sure I get them both. There's a key in the front foot, too, so that's what I was kind of looking at there. Styrofoam. All right, cargoil wings. There's magnets in there. Um, they feel pretty good. This one's a little loose. It like rests against the side here. Uh, not bad though. Okay. Let's move along. All right. So these go on his legs, um, but they're color coded um, so that you don't screw it up. <laughs> Just make sure to see if they use the same colors on both legs. Blue, black, and gray. So we got red, which is weird. Uh, there's two blues. There's a light blue and a dark blue. I did not see the blue on this side, but... They kind of got them mixed. From what I can tell. So we got green and yellow over here. And they're magnetized just like all the others. black and blue. So they had it mixed um, on the two different rows in the styrofoam, um, which is fine. They're all colored, so, and they're all different colors. All right. And then we got his arms. 
I'm not sure what all swap outs they have other than different heads. Um, so I think they just got one set of arms. Pretty heavy too, those arms seem solid. Alright, so this one seems like it's pretty easy to put together actually, it's not too bad. Alright, so it looks like hands now. hands, the claws on them. So it looks like they do have a couple different hands. Let's kind of show this to you. So as you can see, so there's uh, long claws and short claws it looks like. And that looks like that's the only difference really. Uh, I like the longer ones, so I'm going to use those. If I can get it up in there. No, it goes up, that's why. There we go. Yeah, so it's both, both hands. Uh, you can either do the short uh, like this one, or you can do the longer ones. Okay. The hands, and then we have the cape. I need to find so there's a couple different sections to this one. So that's the top piece. As most of you know, I'm not a huge fan of fabric, <laughs> but it is fabric, so. So it's got two loops here. And they're going to go around a couple of keys that are on this uh, shoulder piece. Another reason I'm not a huge fan of these. tempted to do it without the cape. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know a lot about Nightfall, Batman. Uh, so there was a series uh, back in the 90s, I think early early to mid 90s. Um, I think it lasted about a year where Batman uh, got his back broke by Bane, um, which I know is pretty popular. Um, So yeah, so he got his back broke. So this is, I think it's Jean-Paul, uh, I forget his last name, he took over as Azrael. Uh, and then this is the outfit he wore when he was 
basically acting like Batman or, or being Batman. Now we get to fight with it for to get it in there. They don't want to make it too easy. All right, so essentially that's the cape. Again, I am not a fan. Uh, this cape's not staying on because this this piece here doesn't even want to stay down all the way, uh, and I don't want it creeping up while he's sitting there. So I am going to actually remove it now. And look at that, right there, fits great. All right, so cape gone. <laughs> I've never had that big of a problem with the cape before, but I don't like the way they did it. If you look back here, it's pretty snug, so when the cape is up there, uh, it doesn't want to come down all the way. Stop doing fabric capes. <laughs> Alright, so let's just finish it off here. So it's essentially just the heads left. Um, we will go ahead and pull them all out so you can see them. Uh, so here's the first one. It's kind of a just a typical kind of Batman, except there's just there is no mouth uh, s slot in it, you know, slit in it at all. Um, it looks cool, kind of menacing. And I'm gonna set them over here because I actually don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. You'll have to give me your opinion in the comments too. Which head do you like? Um, I plan on trying to do uh, sculpt something that holds these heads as well, the extra heads. Uh, so this one, and let me kind of show you the difference here. Uh, it doesn't look a ton like his eyes are closed more here, um, but there's not other than, the, oh here it is, yeah, the, his ears are way longer on this one. Um, and the eyes seem to be opened up a little. I'm liking that one so far. I like the, the longer ears. I don't like them too long, but I, I like that one. If I remember right, I think this is the exclusive head. Yeah. Uh, this is the exclusive head, so it's got like one slit right here for the eyes. It's uh, definitely more mechanical looking. It's got like bolts and, or rivets or something in it. So yeah, so I, I, I like that one too, um, but it's definitely between these two for me. I kind of like that one. I think I might go with the exclusive. Now they didn't make very many of these, I think only like 350, uh, like 350 of them, um, but pretty cool. Alright, so uh, the concept, uh, 
not it's obviously not a new concept it's based off of the the nightfall batman like you said um so i mean the concept is is what it is right uh but the the design of it the execution is it's pretty phenomenal uh as with most of prime ones statues uh so the only thing obviously i would say is that fabric cape um you know and they're not horrible but I'm just not a fan of them. Like the material on that one, if you even if you saw it, it's like the dark is supposed to be the inside of the cape, from what I can tell, because uh, that's where all the seams are too, or the threads. Um, but it just doesn't look. It's too bright compared to the rest of it. It's almost like he's wearing a clown costume. Um, <laughs> And then the, the just trying to get it on uh, and stay on with uh, and making sure that piece doesn't slide back up because of the pressure from the cape that's underneath it, uh, not good. So they, I'm good without a cape, um, so I don't have a problem with it. Um, but again, I would much rather have a sculpted cape like I, I do on most of my statues. Um, so yeah, so I mean. Other than that, other than the cape, the textures, the execution on it, I mean, just like the, all of the like pockets and everything that he has, uh, and then the boots too. He's got like, like three toes kind of on the boots here. Steel toes on the outside though. <laughs> um, the different paints, right? I mean, the, so this, the outfit, it's blue, and then it's got black, a lot of black in it, more blue, uh, and then the brown, you know, pouches. Uh, it's gray in the center area here, uh, and then obviously the gold and the blue up top, which looks phenomenal. Um, obviously a lot of wear and tear like he's been in battle. Uh, and then again, the, the swap out hands, and if you can, I'll, I'll get a close up here, but the hands themselves, uh, it's like a mechanical uh, kind of like outfit that he's got on, almost robotic. And then the, the textures, like there's stripes texture here. Uh, and then this just has kind of wear and tear. Um, and then here it's got like uh, polka dot, I guess, texture to it. Uh, so like little indents all over. The boots look like, you know, a leather look to it, as does most of the, like the pants. And then just the colors even up and underneath the shoulder pads here. Um, it's like a orangish red kind of, um, but yeah, it's just another color to it. And then the straps, the sculpted straps, they look like they're real leather straps. And even on the back here, on the back of his head, it kind of looks like there's something that connects down to his, his spine, kind of through the suit. So yeah, so, you know, like I said, design's great other than the cape. Uh, the paint is fantastic, uh, but you know, that's what I kind of expect from Prime One. They've done such a good job on the other ones. Um, if you've watched my Deathstroke one, that one is amazing too. So, all right, guys. So, I mean, uh, scale of one to ten, I, I'm gonna have to say a nine, and that's only a nine because of the cape, because I hate that thing. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a ten. Like the just the the design itself and and the the paint app and uh, man, they did a fantastic job. The sculpt is just amazing. All right. So, hopefully, that helps you. Um, I know the cape thing was a, a kind of a disaster trying to put that on, um, made it more difficult, but uh, other than that, once we removed that, uh, it, it all went together fine, uh, but it's, it's great. So, all right, so I know a lot of you out there watch these videos. If you could just click that subscribe for me and click on that bell so you get notified when I upload more. Um, I'm working on some other sculptures that I want to do too. Um, 
So more to come with that. Uh, and then definitely I'll, I'll have other reviews. I want to do a review on the Iron Studios Hawkman, um, but some of you have read some of the stuff around the problems I've been having with that, which is just a nightmare. Um, but <laughs> for another review. Uh, all right. So thanks for coming, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe.